Human rights activists working with Palestinians say they're under pressure from Israel, which claims they're stoking the conflict there. The Interior Ministry stopped issuing permits to many, forcing them to work illegally. RT's Paulus Slea has been meeting activists who say the accusations are groundless and that Israel regards any Palestinian supporter as an enemy. They're the visitors Israel doesn't want. Activists from around the world who come here to photograph and protest Palestinian suffering. Well, most of the NGOs only bring more fuel to the conflict, make it much more harder to, to solve the conflict, uh, bring more hate to the conflict. Uh, they have hid, hid, kidnapped the terms human right. Which is why, from the beginning of the year, the Israeli Ministry of Interior started withdrawing work permits from international NGOs. Oxfam, Save the Children and Medicine Sans Frontier have all been affected. Anybody who voices a pro-Palestinian view, anybody who supports justice for Palestinians and Palestinian refugees is an enemy of Israel and sid pro quo a terrorist. I simply don't buy it and I don't think there's evidence of it. Some volunteers say they have no choice but to do their work illegally. Emily's origins are Palestinian, but she can't live here because she can't get a visa. For a while, she managed to evade the Israeli authorities by leaving and returning every three months and lying to them that she lived in Jerusalem. But they eventually cottoned on and have given her one month to get out. The more visas you have on your passport, the harder it gets. And I think for me initially, it was more being overwhelmed and really understanding you know, which borders to use, how to, you know, how to talk to the soldiers, what to say, what not to say. NGO Monitor is an Israeli organization that tracks non-governmental organizations working in the area. Its staff won't speak on camera, but they haven't shied away from writing on the net. This website accuses several charities working in the West Bank and Gaza of having links with terrorist organizations. Here it says that the Palestinian Children's Welfare Fund owns a hate-filled website dedicated to the glorification of jihad and the denunciation of Israel. There has been no evidence whatsoever and no cases that anyone's heard of of people in NGOs committing any kind of violence. The Palestinian throwing stones on, on uh, stones and grenades on, on IDF soldiers and who's helping them? You see a blonde girl from Switzerland or I don't know where. Adi Mormek has been in Gaza for six months and plans to stay six more. He's a volunteer with the International Solidarity Movement, which Israel claims has terrorist links. They therefore won't let him cross into the West Bank. These are human rights groups that are credible throughout the world, and yet they are being stopped from entering many times. I mean, the UN rapporteur, uh, Richard Falk, was stopped from entering. So this stretches up to the United Nations. For many NGOs, the challenge remains how to draw attention to the work they do without getting kicked out of the country, while many Israelis continue to question the work they're doing in the first place. Paulus Lea, RT, Israel.